Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got a few things coming at you today. It is a busy day. I went on a huge shopping spree last night. Well, not huge, but a pretty good sized shopping spree last night. So of course, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I got and try on the clothes that I got for you. But also tonight is opening night of the Greeley Stampede. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of just like a week long little festival thing. Um, but I want to show you guys just a few things that I got before I shower and get ready and then I'll try on the rest of my stuff after I have my hair and makeup done. I just wanted to show you guys first so that way I can try it out in the shower to give you a review of the product. So the first thing that I got is just some more dry shampoo, this Foxy Bay brand. I love this brand so much. It's the only dry shampoo that's really worked for me. And then next up, I needed new shampoo and conditioner, but I could not decide what brand I wanted. So I got two different ones. Um, the first brand is this Foxy Babe. They're, it's their two and 12 in one blend. So the, oh my goodness, wrong way. So this is the shampoo. It is California Dreamin' Moisturizing Shampoo. Um, and then their conditioner, Always Sassy, Never Brassy. So it's a purple conditioner. And I really wanted to try that out because my blonde highlights, um, I thought that this would help it. But, of course, you're not supposed to use purple shampoo every single wash. So I got another brand of shampoo, too, to try it out. Um, the Sun Bum brand, because since it's sunny and it's super hot and, like, draining and demoisturizing to your hair with all the pool and the ocean and chlorine and everything, this has, um coconut oil, banana pulp peel, and sunflower seed oil, and it's supposed to be revitalizing. So that is the shampoo and the conditioner. So today, I, oh my goodness, I'm throwing things. So today I'm going to use the Foxy Babe shampoo and conditioner first to test out um, the purple conditioner on my hair, and then I will use the sun balm next time. The other thing that I got that I want to use in the shower today is this Lather Me Up. It's a silicone loofah, and it's supposed to be um, soap saving. So I'm gonna open it up because I haven't actually felt around on it yet. This is what it looks like. Oh, it looks like it sticks to your, it has a little hook that it can stick to your shower wall with. And it looks like there's this like pad inside and I think you're supposed to put your soap in there and it comes out the bottom and then you put like scrub it on. I think that it's also supposed to be bacteria and mold resistant, soap saving, eco-friendly exfoliation. Yeah, so it is supposed to be an exfoliator as well, but it's super squishy and bendable. So yeah, I don't, I'm probably not going to use this because I already have a hook, but I'll save it anyways. So I'm going to go shower and use these products and test them out. And then I'll tell you guys what I think before I continue with the rest of the haul. Okay, I'm back. I just showered and blow dried my hair. I haven't straightened it yet, but I don't see a huge difference. It wasn't extremely brassy to start with. I mean, it might have lightened it a little bit, but it's not anything extreme, but it is lighter, so that's good. Um, Next up with the loofah, so the black spongy part that I showed you guys before is actually, that's the exfoliator part of it, and you're supposed to rub it, like the black part on your body, and then the silicone part is just the loofah part, but it was kind of confusing because I, I thought that you were supposed to pour the soap on the black part and it would like go down through, which eventually it did, but it didn't do it quick enough that I needed it to, and I also feel like if I leave it in there for next time I shower, it's going to mold. So I don't know how to properly use it. Yeah, and even on the box, it doesn't really explain how to use it that well. But anyways, it's fine. It still worked. I still feel super clean and I feel exfoliated. So that's good. I'm going to straighten my hair now and I'll be back when I can see how the blue or the purple shampoo actually looks with my hair straight and not frizzy. Okay, I'm back and the hair is all straight. And the same thing as after I had just blow dried it, like it looks lighter, but not, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily less brassy. It just looks blonder, but it wasn't super brassy to begin with. 
But yeah, I do like this shampoo. Obviously, I'm not going to use it every wash. I mean conditioner. I keep calling it shampoo. It's conditioner. Obviously, I'm not going to use it every wash, but I like it. I think that it works for what it needs to work for. Okay, now it's finally time for the try-on haul of everything that I got shopping. So I have this whole outfit put together already. It's what I'm wearing tonight to the Greeley Stampede, but I got it new. So the first thing is this top. It's got these ruffle sleeves, and this is the back. It ties on the bottom and the top. And then I just paired it with these new jean shorts that I got. They're the... Uh, the brand Vervet is what the brand is called, but they, they're they kind of the fashion like cross in the front, but you don't have the option of buttoning it normally because there's not a button here. It's just an extra piece of fabric, so I just kind of tuck it in. But yeah, so this is the first thing that I got. And then I also got two other pairs of shorts. So they're all the same brand. I have this light wash color. And then I also have this it's like half white half blue blue jean color and i'm wearing these to the concert tomorrow night the brad paisley concert okay here are the light wash shorts on obviously they're not my favorite with this shirt just because they're a little bit lower waisted and i don't know um but they're super cute they're so summery they would look so cute with like a neon pink shirt i actually have a neon pink tank top that i'm definitely gonna wear with these sometime but yeah they're the brevet brand too all right, and then here is the other shorts that I got. I am actually obsessed with these shorts. This is what they look like from the back. The seam is like perfectly down the middle and they're so cute and fun. And if you guys haven't seen my other try on haul, go check it out because I have another pair of shorts like this. It's kind of like, like it, this. So it has a pair of, jean fabric two jean fabrics they're just different shades but i love i've always wanted the white and jean ones too and i found them and these are so cute they fit so good i like it because they're tight around my waist and around my butt but then below my butt they're kind of loose so. okay and then the last piece of clothing that i got to try on for you guys is from american eagle it's this cute little summer dress and it looks super short and it is a little short on, but it's okay because it's so cute. And then it comes with straps so it can be strapless or straps. Obviously, I'm not going to put the straps, get deal with them all just for this video. Okay, so I have the dress on now. This is what it looks like. It's super cute and summery. It's kind of short in the front, but it's okay because I'm short, so it works. Um, and I love it. I think that, you know, to go to like a, a concert or something or a little farmer's market or a picnic, I think that it's so cute and perfect for the summertime. Okay, so like I said, that was it for all the new clothes I got, but I still have a few more things to show you. So the first thing is I bought a Calvin Klein wallet for my boyfriend because when we were in South Africa, um, his wallet that he had was annoying me. Oh my gosh, I hate this part. His wallet he had was annoying me so bad because it kept falling apart and there was a hole in it and his coins kept falling out of it and it was making me so mad. So I bought him a new one. Calvin Klein. This is what it looks like. It's stuck to the box, but it has this little Calvin Klein thing right here. And then you open it up. It's just a normal like guy's wallet. And then it says Calvin Klein right there too. And Calvin Klein's one of his favorite brands. So I'm going to ship this to him and surprise him with it. I'm so excited. Um, next up is I got these earrings because lately I've been absolutely obsessed with the color pink if you can't tell by my nails. But I got these pink earrings and I honestly think I'm going to wear them with this outfit to the stampede tonight because they're so cute. And then I also got this Pira Vita bracelet. It just has stars and it's cute and colorful. And I have an obsession with Pira Vita. Stay tuned because I will give you... I'll show you my, all of my Pura Vita stuff that I have. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then I got another Pura Vita bracelet for my boyfriend's sister because she loves bracelets like these. And when we were in South Africa, she kept taking mine to wear. So I got her one of her own. Speaking of his sister, I also got her this bracelet that says Faith on it. Because it, like I said, I have a bunch of bracelets like these too. And she kept wearing them. And I'm like, girl 
I'll get you your own so you stop wearing mine. So I got that for her and I'm gonna ship that with his wallet just to surprise her because why not? And then the last and final place is Bath and Body Works that I went to. So obviously you can't smell all the scents, but they were having their semi-annual sale. So the first thing, I got another thing for my boyfriend. I got him a Canyon Body Spray um, because it was on sale for literally $5. And I feel bad because his other favorite scent, um, fresh, oh my gosh, fresh water from Bath and Body Works, it went out of stock. They stopped making it. So I got him a new one, Canyon, that I really like. And then I got Buttercup and Berry Bellini Lotion. I got Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower lotion and then I got strawberry pound cake soap because I absolutely love this scent but they only had the soap they didn't have anything else which kind of sucks and then I got more of their sunshine mimosa perfume because that's literally my favorite summer flavor well my second favorite summer flavor and then I also got this summertime surf perfume not that I need any more perfume or lotion, but they were having a sale, so why the heck not, you know? Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for everything that I got. So I'm going to do my makeup really quick, and then I'll be back to put on my final accessories and show you guys the final look for tonight. Okay, and here is the makeup look. I put a little shimmer on my eyelids and just a little bit of concealer and bronzer, and that's it. Because in the summertime, I do not wear foundation. And I did decide to wear the new earrings, and I think that they're super cute, even though they're pink and they don't really match a ton. They're still so cute, and I'm obsessed with them. And I think I'm just going to wear my Vans with this outfit, but it's not time to leave quite yet, so I'm not going to put my shoes on yet. But yeah, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you want more, get ready with me or any um, makeup routines or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Mwah!